Question number two gives us an object with a mass of seven kilograms being pulled upwards uh, by a rope. And we know that the acceleration of the object is two meters per second squared. So I would approach this problem first by uh, sketching a diagram. There's already one here, but let's, let's just uh, uh, add our own sort of free body diagram here, representing the forces acting on the object. We know that the mass is seven kilograms. So therefore we know that it has a, a weight acting down equal to mg and we know there is a tension acting upwards which is what we're aiming to calculate and we know that there is an acceleration upwards always represent an acceleration with a little arrow on the side like this with two arrow heads and we know that that acceleration is two meters per second squared so First of all, we know that T is not equal to W. We know that because uh, it is accelerating upwards. What we know is that there is a net force upwards, which we'll call F. And that net force is equal to the difference between the tension upwards and the weight downwards. So for example, if tension and weight were equal, that would mean there'd be zero net force and therefore there would be no acceleration. If weight was bigger than tension, that would mean there would be a net force acting downwards, causing an acceleration downwards. Or if in this case, the tension is larger than the weight, that would mean that there is a net force upwards, causing an acceleration upwards, which you can see uh, there is here. So we can say that the force, the net force upwards is the difference between the tension and the weight. So we can rearrange this to get that the tension is equal to the net force upwards plus the weight. And then we can start putting some values in where we know that net force from our formula sheet, we can see that net force F equals MA. And we know that W is equal to MG. You can factorize this if you like to get M brackets A plus G, where the mass is seven kilograms and the acceleration is 2 and gravity is 9.81 which gives us a final answer for the tension of 82.7 newtons. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.